Just a year ago, the Red Sox hired John Farrell as their manager, and now they're off to the World Series. I'm Kevin DuPont for Globe 10.0, here with Chad Finn, clearly a Holy Cross supporter. Main black bear, but wearing the Holy Cross purple. There you go. Uh, question is, Chad, <laughs> <laughs> question is, uh, was this the key hire? Is it just Farrell who got it done? Yeah, uh, in terms of setting the uh, setting the tone for everything that came afterward this yeah. year, absolutely. Uh, and it's the guy he wanted in the first place. I mean, uh, it's who he wanted to hire right. when Bobby Valentine got hired. By he, I mean Ben Sherrington. Right. They talk, you know, they talked about Dale Swain. They talked about uh, Gene Lamont. Uh, and ultimately, they ended up getting the right guy a year after they originally wanted to. Yeah, I thought you were going to say the right guy in John Valentine, which would have really scared <laughs> me. But I, I, you know, it is. It's all hand in hand. It's probably not just one guy. But certainly, one guy sets the tone, and one guy makes the decision ultimately on who your closer is. So give him credit for Uihara, because if he doesn't make that decision, you know what? They're not where they are today. They're they're not going to the World right. Series without Uihara as the closer. Agreed? Absolutely. I mean, nobody's done the job uh, that I've ever seen as well as he's done it this year uh, as a relief pitcher, yep. let alone as a closer. Yeah. Uh, I'll call it Raditz-like, but that goes way back. It's the first guy they signed this off season too. Of all the people they brought in. Uh, Uihara was the first one that Charrington went, went after. Yep. It kind of it reminds me of Theo's first move when he became the general manager officially was Mike Timlin. He wasn't Uihara, mm -hmm. but he was a guy no. who was essential in some very good bullpens on some yep. very good teams. A lot of ground balls. You know, those, those guys are hard to find, and uh, yep. it, it, it's uh, especially one who's performed the way Uihara has yeah, this Timlin's year. good. Timlin didn't have, it, as Farrell would say, the strikeout ability of this guy. But, well, but the 87 good. mile an hour fastball, that's why. Right, right. With heat. that little hop at the end there. <laughs> the Andy works fast. I, that's a key, working fast, I wished everyone else would, would consider. The other part of this, in terms of Farrell being the guy, Farrell being the guy, obviously he goes through, picks his guys, platoons right, ultimately picks Uihara, but hand in hand, Larry Lucchino stays out of it. That's huge. I mean, right? they, you know, we're talking about Farrell. He goes back a long way with Ben Sherrington, back to when Sherrington was starting out professional baseball with the Indians, and uh, Farrell was running their minor league operation there. So yep. he knew what he was getting in a manager this year. He knew there's a reason why he wanted him uh, a year ago. There's a reason why the players instantly respected him this year because he was a pitching coach on that 2007 yep. team. Everybody knew what they were getting. The thing that. Uh, the thing that's surprising, I guess, is, is that maybe Larry Lucchino didn't. Yeah, right. It didn't a year ago, and maybe even this time had to accept it, uh, yeah. you know, uh, begrudgingly. But what? Whatever. Farrell's been the guy. They're going back to the World Series.